An incredible array of Egyptian objects can be found in museums across Scotland, from tiny amulets to massive stone monuments. National Museums Scotland and museums across the country are studying these artefacts together to improve our understanding of ancient Egyptian culture and Scotland's contribution to Egyptology. This story begins in the early 1800s, when European empires sought to collect the most impressive ancient treasures. Nations sent expeditions to Egypt, each believing they would discover the ancient world. Some early collecting was careless, which meant valuable archaeological information was lost. From the mid-1800s, archaeology began to be more scientific. Many Scots got involved, from doctors and artists to astronomers and engineers. Several in particular led the way towards more responsible excavation. Alexander Henry Rind was the first archaeologist to excavate in Egypt. He began his career excavating sites around Scotland, but when ill health forced him to seek a warmer climate, he travelled to Egypt. He carried out the first systematic excavations in 1856, recording the precise position of objects where they were found. His promising career was cut short by his death at the age of 29. In 1865, the Astronomer Royal for Scotland, Charles Piazzi Smythe, and his wife Jessie, spent four months carrying out the most accurate survey of the Great Pyramid to date, and taking the first photographs of its interior. Their work inspired future scholars, including William Matthew Flinders Petrie, who went on to become one of the leading archaeologists in Egypt. Throughout his long career, Petrie trained young scholars. Many became important archaeologists in their own right. Aberdeen-born Annie Perry joined Petrie's excavations as an illustrator in 1895. She went on to record hundreds of objects, including finds from one of Egypt's oldest temple sites at Hierakonpolis. Her drawings are still important for researchers today. Under colonial rule, a system was introduced whereby Egypt had first choice of the artefacts that were discovered. A share was then given to the excavators, like Petrie. Scottish museums, societies and individuals were active fundraisers for these archaeologists. The objects they received created the foundations for Egyptology collections across Scotland. From the 1860s onwards, tourists on some of the first package holidays also brought back objects as souvenirs, often donating them to museums. In the 20th century, increasing concerns over the protection of national cultural heritage led to laws and treaties which banned the export of antiquities. Now, everything excavated in Egypt remains there. Today, National Museums Scotland is working with museums across the country to study their collections contributing to our understanding of ancient Egyptian culture.